Hey guys, it's Brandy. I'm here with a YouTube video showing you guys how I made this card that I made this last week. Uh, I promised you guys a video showing how I did this. So um, here's the video. And what I used, I already cut my uh, cardstock down to size, so I'm ready to go there. But I used the stamp set um, from Heidi Swap. Um, I just called it uh, My Girl, My Boy. I don't know if it actually has a name, but this is a Heidi Swap stamp set. And I used the stamps You Are Beautiful. And then this is one of my wood unmounted stamps that I made into cling from Stampin' Up. It's just this big old butterfly here that I used for the butterfly. So. And then I also used the Stress Inks um, Peacock Feathers and Picked Raspberry for the background. And then I'll show you the embossing that I used later. So um, let's go ahead and get started. I went ahead and cut my cardstock down. I just uh, left it six or 12 inches long and I just folded it in half so it's six and then it's a little over four inches is my card base. So I'll set that aside, and then I just cut the background uh, down a little smaller to fit onto the card like I did here. So um, let's get started. Alright, so I put a piece of paper down to prevent any ink that I get out of the off the paper from getting onto my mat. So I'm going to go ahead and start with Picked Raspberry, and I'm just using Tim Holtz's uh, Ranger Distress Tool. And blending tool. So I'm starting with picked raspberry first. And I start from the one corner and I work my way in. And this might not turn exactly like the other one, but it'll be pretty close. Should be. And I just kind of blend it in. And then I almost forgot last time, just like I did this time. But I want to stamp that butterfly before I put any ink up here. I want to stamp that butterfly with uh, white embossing powder and embossing ink. So I'm going to start with my butterfly. And as you can see, I put the cling foam on it. I'm just using my clear block. And then I'm just going to use it using my embossing stamp pad. And it just embosses. It just stamps it clear. But I want to make sure I get a nice coat on it. And sorry if you hear like a heartbeat in the sound in the background. That's my daughter's uh, monitor. She's currently sleeping. So, alright. So I went ahead and I stamped this kind of off the page like so. Make sure I get a nice crisp image. And you guys can't really see it right now, but it's there. And then I'm just going to use Recollections Clear Embossing Powder. And I just sprinkle that on here. Kind of like so. And then I just kind of take the extra and kind of tap it off and that works and then what's left on this uh, piece of paper I kind of funnel into my container here so that way I don't waste much and they have containers that you can actually use for embossing powders, that way um, you can just dump it in, it funnels it in straight away, straight away. So I am using my Paper Studios embossing heat tool to heat up the embossing powder. And, and it gets kind of warm, so you want to be careful. And you guys might not be able to see it right now. on camera, but once I ink over it, you guys should be able to see it. Alrighty. So I went ahead and 
did that. Now I can finish inking my background. So I'm going to go over again with the picked raspberry. Get you back on camera here. And as you can see, that embossing powder resists the ink, which is really cool because whatever color is underneath that using the clear embossing powder, it will stay. So it's pretty cool. Actually, I'm using, I'm doing this a little different than the other one. I'm doing it the opposite of what I did because I did the blue first. So this time we're going to do pink first, but same technique. So once I get done inking with the pink, I'm going to go ahead and heat set this. That way uh, when I use embossing powder again, it doesn't stick to the ink here. I just want to make sure it's nice and dry because if this ink is a little wet, the embossing powder will stick to it. So I'm just going to heat set this with my heat tool. And I just kind of go over it real quick, just for a few minutes. Make sure it's nice and dry. And I don't know if you necessarily have to do this, but it works for me. So I just want to be sure. Alright. So once I did that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp that butterfly again using the clear embossing pow clear embossing ink again. And then I'm going to stamp it in this corner here. And I'm kind of doing it off the page. Just like so. And then take my clear embossing powder again and ink over it. Or not ink over it, um, powder. Put the powder over the, um, the stamped image. And sorry if I found, sound funny, I'm getting over a cold, which is never fun. And this can be quite messy. There. That's good enough. I kind of have a little extra off the side here. Alright, we'll try that. See if that works. And I think there's a tool out there called like an embossing buddy that helps prevent the powder from getting anywhere but on your stamped image. So I need to invest in one of those, but, um, and I think there's actually a homemade recipe you can use that does the same thing. I think it's like cornstarch and something or baby powder. I don't, I don't even know, but for sure. But there is a homemade recipe that you can like go over your card with it and then it'll prevent the embossing powder from sticking. So I'm going to go ahead and heat set this again. And again, it kind of like fades away so you don't really see it. Alrighty, now I'm going to go over with the peacock feathers. So I don't know if you guys can see it a little bit, that butterfly, but whenever I go over it with peacock feathers, it keeps that pink underneath and it changes this pink color to like a purpley color, which is really pretty. So I just kind of go over it. And 
you don't have to do the whole card over peacock with peacock feathers. You can do some of it and leave some pink. It's completely up to you on what you want to do. Alrighty. Now I'm going to heat set that again because I'm going to be stamping my um, sentiment with the clear embossing powder as well. So go ahead and heat set that again. Make sure it's nice and dry. Once that's done, I'm going to clean off my butterfly stamp and I clean my stamps after I use them with baby wipes. It helps um, keep them nice and fresh and gets the ink that was on them off for the most part. And I, I've been using like the cheap dollar store ones, I don't know if it really matters. It tends to keep the, take the ink off so I assume it's okay. Now I'm going to use the You Are Beautiful stamp set. I got the beautiful. And then the You Are. And I just place that on my stamping block. like so. I don't know if you guys can see it. But yeah, I kind of placed it like that. And I want to make sure like I know where to stamp it. That way it doesn't go over the... So I might have to move the UR down a little bit. Perfect. Just like that. Oh, I'm kind of off camera. There you go. So this is how you can kind of tell like where you're going to stamp it. That way you don't stamp it on the butterfly if you don't want to. So I'm going to go ahead and ink that. Using the clear embossing powder, or clear embossing pad again, ink pad. And then I'm just going to place it where I want it on the card. Kind of rock it back and forth. That way you get a nice crisp image. Hopefully that it looks like it turned out. Alrighty. Set that aside. And now I'm using some Zing embossing powder and it's black. Now, I had issues last time I used this. I got it at Hobby Lobby. Last time I used this, I don't know if you can tell on the card or not, but it kind of flaked off when I went to go emboss it. So I'm gonna try maybe on a lower setting. Maybe I won't uh, move it as much. So we'll try it and see if it works. And if not, then I know that maybe this is just a bad batch or maybe this one's known to do that. I'm not sure. So let's go ahead and try it. And do the same thing like what we did with the other ones. And you just sprinkle it on there. And then take your excess. Like so. Oops, I spilled some. That's all right. And then my Y or L need to put a little bit more there. So 
So if you guys have any tips or tricks on how to use embossing powder, please leave them in the comments below. Because I'm still new to this as well, so. All right, we'll try that. So it's nice and powdery. And I have a nice huge mess down here. And some people have even little vacuums in their craft desk to um, help clean up this mess that they have. It gets everywhere. All right, let's go ahead and try this on the low setting because I have a low, an off, and a high setting. So let's go ahead and try it on low. I'm going to let it get warm first before I put it over it. And maybe if I put it underneath it instead of on top. Maybe that will help set it. There it goes. I think that's a tip I, I actually heard about. Just uh, doing it underneath instead of on top of the paper. That way you're not blowing that embossing powder everywhere. It takes a little longer to melt, but... Alright, I think that worked. So it's not perfect, as you can see the embossing powder got everywhere, but it still looks pretty cool, I think. It looks like it got splattered. So it's got that splatter look, which is really cool. So then all I did is I took some, oh, where is it, let me see, yeah, I took some black soot distress ink, and I went over the edge with it to kind of bring out the card a little more, I don't know, every time I add black, like black to the edge of whatever project I'm working on, it kind of brings out a little more detail makes it stand out a little more and I just kind of go over the edges with my sponge and you might be able to actually just use the pa ink pad the distress ink pad to do this instead of buying one of these for the edges but see how it darkens around the edges there? I think it's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and do this side here. And then I'm going to set that down there. And I'm going to use my Scotch um, or Elmer's tape runner that I get at Walmart. This is the tape runner that I use mostly for my scrapbooking and card making and everything. And add a couple extra strips here. And then make sure I put it on the right side. And then I just kind of center it as best as I can. And you can make this pop if you want. You can put like foam dots behind it. You could do like some other, like add flowers to it, whatever you want. But that is how I made my card. So it's pretty similar to the other one, but a little different. So um, you can do multiple colors. You can do browns and greens. And it's just all up to your imagination on what you can do with these. It's pretty cool. So that's how you resist ink. And this is how I made my card. So I hope you guys liked it and I also have a share with you guys that I bought this last, actually last weekend. Um, I went to Joann's and I seen this stamp set with my friend and I almost got it but I knew that I had a 10% discount at Barnes & Noble versus you can't use coupons for anything at um, Joann's so, on magazines. So I went and I got this at Barnes & Noble. It's the Creative Stamping Magazine, and it comes with 63 stamps, and it was 20 bucks, but I paid 18 bucks for it with my discount, 
and I almost didn't get it because I seen that it had this stamp set on the back which pretty much sold it right there. I love the stamp set. I love how it's all like summery like you have the lights out here you could do like an outside scene um, like a romantic card or whatever like dinner for two or whatever you want and then it comes with those there and then the cute little gnome there my husband liked that and then the lawnmower so I almost got this one and I love that sentiment have a smoking birthday but I'm like no I'm not gonna pay 20 bucks just for one stamp set well then I noticed it said two stamp sets and it actually comes with another stamp set it's actually two magazines so I got this magazine with that summery garden stamp set and then it came with this stamp set which I haven't opened yet same magazine but it comes with this one and it's got dragonflies and a feather and it's got flowers that will be like really pretty all colored in same with that butterfly you got a bird and today is a special day it's your birthday let's celebrate and it's got like this postcard here and the script so I got it and I'm happy I got it so that was um, a purchase that I made last weekend and I hope you guys enjoyed my video and if you guys have any questions or comments below, please leave them. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And leave some tips for embossing. And show me some proje projects you guys have created with embossing powders. I'd love to see them. Thanks for watching. Bye!